let's talk about these. The way this stuff is supposed to work in theory is you put it into the system with an active refrigerant leak. Once this stuff has mixed with the refrigerant, it will leak out at the same time as the refrigerant. And this is meant to be a, you can see right here, it's supposed to be permanent. Permanently seals micro and large leaks. In theory, what it does is it creates some kind of bond, reacts with the air as it leaks out with the refrigerant and creates a, what would be the word I'm looking for? We could, we could say it creates like a scab, some, something on the exterior of the pipe as it leaks out. And then in theory, this stuff will create something that could act as a permanent fix. Does it work? Let's see, right here. Unfortunately, I don't have a before video. This is before we were doing YouTube, but this is a system that we recharged last, last September. I mean, this system was low. I mean, it's a big system. We weighed in 12 pounds. This is our follow-up visit. This system right here, we recharged last year. We did use leak sealant here. We're gonna check our pressures right now. I, I have my gauges hooked up. I, I haven't actually pulled that pressure, so let's pull them up. Our pressures, we have four degrees of subcooling right now. These Lennox systems, tend to run real low on their subcooling. They have a chart right here, but it doesn't give us indoor temperature. And right now it's like 67 inside. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this was a successful go at this leak sealant. Now, this isn't typical. Like this is, I, I tell everyone if we're doing this to expect it to leak back out, expect it to be a gamble. This homeowner got lucky and I, I did tell them they could expect us to come back out and basically anticipate us doing a leak repair or leak search. There's no evidence of oil. When we were here the last time, any, anytime we're doing any kind of work on a system like this, we don't do a whole leak search for free, but checking joints, popping open the EVAP coil, checking the inside of the condenser coil, all that's easy. There's no hard evidence of a leak. We would have found it. In this instance, looks like our leak sealant worked. That did save the customer, I don't know. Well, as long as it continues working, for the life of the system, which in theory it could, that's what it's marketed as, did save the customer a significant amount of money. We recharged the system in September and now it is June. Obviously it hasn't made it through a summer season. If the leak is on the high, on the liquid line, it might still leak out. Does this stuff work? The answer is sometimes. You should not use this stuff as a miracle cure, but let's, let's look at what they have to say about it. So this is the product bulletin is going to give us some details into this product permanently sealed they market it as a permanent sealant i honestly can say i mean I, i've worked on systems two or three years after putting this stuff in it and it hasn't leaked it can work and it can work long term works with all coils travels with the refrigerant it will seal the smallest micro leaks as well as much larger leaks i mean how you install this really easy you just put it into the low side you can do it while it's running that's not the main question we're talking about today though main question we're talking about is does this stuff work they claim let's see right here it will seal the smallest micro leaks as well as much larger leaks that can be de detected with gas leak detectors in most cases as long as the system's entire charge is not lost in a week or less easy seal ultimate will fix the leak i don't know where they're getting their info from let me let me just say i've done this a lot of times and i have not had the success that they're claiming here I've just chosen a number and that number I, I say is 40%. I have no clue if it's 40%, I have no clue if it's 50%, 60%, but but it ain't, it's it's not close to 100, okay? I've had lots of times where I've been back out a month later and it's low, two months later and it's low, the next year and it's low again. You should not treat this as a fix all, but it, it can work. When would I say I would recommend using leak sealant and the answer is it's, it's kind of complicated. I don't really ever necessarily recommend it. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's ever like completely recommended. I, I think finding and fixing a leak is always better, but I mean, everyone has access to the internet nowadays. They're gonna, they're gonna find this stuff. I mean, we show up to people's houses and say if we're the second opinion or maybe they've done it on a past system. So everyone knows about it. I, I basically give people the pros and cons. Now, when would you not want to use this stuff? A lot of companies do installs and add this stuff to the system right after installing it. That's just really, really poor installation practices. If you've got a unit that's, I'd say less than five years old, under almost no circumstances should you use this stuff. It, it's honestly, it, it, it's horrible how pervasive this is in the HVAC industry. It's happened at tons of, pretty much every company I've worked at before starting my own business 
uh, common practice was to add leak, leak sealant if the system was leaking. Another reason you may not want to use this, think about this logically, okay? This stuff is made to react with air, like, can't really feel it, but it's it's here, okay? And that's you personally installed the system and you're the only person to ever touch that unit and you've made sure 100, 100% you've purged the air from the lines. Most HVAC systems are gonna have some air in them, even though they're not supposed to. You can find like pictures of little like debris that forms inside of the, the system, inside of the lines, you can clog TXVs and stuff. And you know, if you look at that product sheet that I pulled up, it says it won't do that, but there's air in the system, which most systems are gonna have air in them. It, it could affect the system is I guess what I'm trying to say. Like if you're a homeowner watching this, there's basically no way for you to know. Other HVAC guys, what your experiences have been with this product. I don't know, there's a lot of other leak sealants on the market. I, I kind of clumped them all into one. When you look up all the info, it, it's all pretty much the same. So, but tell me what your experiences have been. Do you, do you like leak sealants? Have you used them? Have they been effective for you? On this visit, this one that I showed, this was a free follow-up. We don't charge people to come back and check on something like this. Why? A, I, I like the info. No, knowledge is, is uh, power. So I, it gives me something to to, follow, uh, to go off of. I mean, I, I don't, I, I like testing products. So I, I get to go out and see, hey, did this work? And then moving forward, I can say, hey, it works sometimes it works all the time it works never having that knowledge is, is good to me and so and b say it, it does leak out then that leads to work for us so there there's pros for the homeowner i can they, they stay informed there's pros for me and then and then moving forward i i have more knowledge so I, th I think there's a lot of good to going out and doing like a free little checkup like this last summer we did probably four or five of these i don't know i mean we ran a lot of service calls we found a lot we found and repaired more leaks than we did leak sealant but it's not something i mean it's something that i'll put on the table if uh, someone d doesn't want to find the leak uh, I, really it's something i bring up no matter what just because you don't want the customer to get mad at you later when <laughs> when they find out that it was an option. I kind of give them the pros and cons to it. I think when you explain it very candidly, most people tend to not lean that way, but you say, hey, this can damage your system, this lot, this X, Y, Z, and it's not 100% effective. You're essentially just willingly throwing your money away if it doesn't work. Oh. One other thing I want to touch on, the dye. The dye in these things, I haven't had amazing success with the dye. They do sell other dyes. The dye that I've seen that actually works is like this neon yellow dye and that shit stains everything so it will not come off. The, the, the dye in these leak sealants, it just kind of like doesn't show up even if you put the thing on there. Sometimes it just doesn't. It's like, hey, like I, I've had times where the company I work for had put the leak sealant and dye in and then I show up and I can't find the dye with my UV light, but then I find the leak with my sniffers. I will say don't, if that's how they market that stuff. It's like, oh, sealant with dye, but I'm I'm kind of leaning away from doing the, the sealant with the dye. And if I, people want the dye or if we end up needing the dye for some reason, which I haven't needed since I've been in business, but if we end up needing that, then we could add, there's like a separate thing you can add as dye. I would not use this for the dye. I would use it for the sealant. Does it work? It works sometimes. If you like HVAC videos, if you've got like a inquisitive mind, just like to like to know how things work. I, I mean, I like picking things apart and working on them and I try and post like formative videos on this channel. So go ahead. If that's your, if that's your kind of thing, you can uh, subscribe. If not, and uh, we'll see you next time. But.